Hey everybody, Chad at Turner's Warehouse, and today I want to talk about the Envoy and Regent lathe from Record Power. Now I've been using the Regent for quite a while, so I'm very familiar with these lathes, and I want to tell you what I like about them. So when you look at these two lathes, they're going to look very similar. This is a 16 inch lathe, this is an 18 inch lathe. The legs and bed are the same on each unit. However, you can see this is a slightly taller headstock than this one. The Envoy, the 16 inch, is a 110 volt. The Regent is a 220 volt. So you get a little more power with the Regent, but you have the convenience of the 110 with the Envoy. So we can fit your needs either way. The beauty of these lathes is they're the same other than those features. So both have the awesome pivoting headstock. So this makes it nice for offboard turning. Uh, you can turn in sand. You can reverse the head all the way around and swap your tailstock to make these left-handed, which is a huge thing for all you lefties out there. They both come with the movable power box. So if you have a preference on right or left side for your control box, you can move that really easily. Your main switches are right below your on-off. And then of course you've got your e-stop and your start and then you've got a digital readout here on the box. Now, both of these lathes come with a 10 inch tool rest, but there's tons of options of tool rest. There's also two additional uh, accessories that probably everyone should get and that is the outrigger, which I'll show a picture of it here. And also the extension. So the extension is a 20 and a half inch extension. So you can see that would make this bed like four feet long so you can turn baseball bats or whatever you want now we do have a limited stock of these very cool Her or, uh, envoy and regent shelves these go up under here under the t under the power box on the shelf and you can see the cutouts for your tools to lay across also your centers and your face plates your punch outs all can fit on here so that's a very cool limited edition from the uk shelf both these machines are a one and a quarter headstock with a Morris Taper 2, Morris Taper tailstock. You got a huge amount of quill travel here, very smooth. What I like about the record machines, uh, I don't know if it's just because they're like English design and everything's more compact and smooth, but you don't have a lot of bulk around this, so it's not a big square piece. Everything's smooth and kind of just flows well, so they work really smoothly. So I currently run a Regent. I went from a Herald, the 110, slightly smaller lathe because I wanted to do everything, uh, including big bowls. So the Herald gave me that option. With the optional outrigger, you can do up to, I think, a 36 or 40 inch bowl, which is huge. It's, it's kind of mind blowing how big that is. Uh, so you can really turn up the volume of your size. Awesome machine. I've used it for over a year now, and I I'm trying to think of a complaint. I guess my complaint is I don't have enough time on it, but that's not that's my fault, not the machine's fault. If I think of a complaint, I'll add it in here later. But great machines, very good quality. Uh, I have had just awesome feedback from the ones we've sold at Turner's Warehouse. And uh, check them out. 